Do you recognize the Joe that we just saw on the screen? Absolutely. The same person you are today? Not even a little bit, bro. Guy in the video was douchebag. I don't live like that anymore. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? 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 Our boy Joe is back on the Jamari channel today, but he's not the homeless whore loving bum that we knew and loved before. If you don't remember, this guy used to be a straight up scumbag walking the streets of New York just looking for a handout. It's not like I forgot how to get pussy just because I fucking became homeless. I like his shorts. Yeah. But y'all gotta understand, there's a Joe who's really turned over a new leaf. And to be honest, he kind of really had to. He was going down a really fucked up path before. He only lasted about another month in New York after this documentary. And apparently an appearance on Dr. Phil where the man himself tried and failed to send little Joey to rehab. Do you believe you could pick up somebody in this If they didn't know who I was, 100% fact. <laughs> <laughs> After this documentary came out, he explains that he couldn't walk 10 feet without someone in New York City recognizing his panhandling ass. Those citizens in New York heard that this man was raking in that $150 a day from being homeless. And I think it's safe to say this man got stomped out by a couple pairs of Tims before his departure from the Big Apple, which is such a stupid fucking nickname for a city, by the way. I just want to know who the fuck thought of that shit. Like, if that city is really a Big Apple and this guy was pretty much the tapeworm running around sucking the streets dry of dirty cooch and spare change, remember, this guy was surviving nights tonight by hooking up with various whores. He'd smash, get a place to stay for the night, maybe a shower, a two for 20 at Chili's or some shit like that, and then he'd be on his way the next day to cop a couple four locos from the local Walgreens. As this guy would put it, he was living like a rock star. I mean, what was the reason why you woke up every morning? Just trying to drink as much vodka as possible, shoot as much heroin as possible, and get as many blowjobs as humanly possible. That one clip right there would be a great recruitment video for a college fraternity. Just trying to drink as much vodka as possible, shoot as much heroin as possible, and get as many blowjobs as humanly possible. And if there was no values and priorities in life, I think we men can all agree that this is what most of us would want. And this guy must be fucking Superman's brother or some shit because he's apparently overdosed 18 times in his life. I just don't get how the fuck you get that close to meeting God 17 times and not change up your life. I guess that 18 time is what really got him because these days he's sober aside from the occasional cigarette. And I gotta say, I'm really proud of this guy. He checked himself into a rehabilitation center and it's really making him shine like a diamond. Blessed with the charisma to live the way I did when I was homeless in New York. Great relationship with my family. I talk to them every single day. I have a great job. But honestly, this man Cody is the real one behind Joe's newfound success. This man is the host of this rehabilitation center Joe has checked himself into, and he's not afraid to rip someone a new asshole. I'm just gonna say it right now. That Kenny Powers looking motherfucker. You know, our first conversation went like this. Buddy, you're a fuck up. The reason that they sent you to me is because you're a knucklehead. You know, he's six fucking four, dude. He's a great big dude. He never had anybody talk to him like that. So this guy helping him out is a real beauty, to be honest. He takes in drug addicts, people off the street, the mentally disabled, just pretty much anyone who needs a real helping hand. This guy's got their back. <laughs> You see, what they do is they get to his house, he tells them they need to clean up their act, get sober, and get a job within the next two weeks. And if they can't do this, they pretty much need to find somewhere else to live. This dude is honestly just so fucking awesome, and he's really helping our guy Joe turn his whole life around, man. You really gotta appreciate selfless people like this man who would pretty much give you the shirt off his back. These days, our guy Joe is putting in that work as a car washer down at the wash tub. It feels so much better to actually work for your money and earn something, you know, as opposed to just being a douchebag every day. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Thank you. You, Joe. Someone please tell Cardi Cosby over here slipping roofies and calling it work that that's a bunch of bullshit. It's nice to see that this man has actually learned the value of a dollar. And don't think that this man isn't still pulling some poo tang, okay? Because at work, this guy is slain with his new girlfriend, Jessica. The cars ain't the only thing getting wet out here, okay? This man's charisma is just simply undeniable. It's just not like actually feeling something, you know, not wanting to hurt people. And trust me, I'm from Texas. I know where this guy is living. There's nothing but country roads and women who look like Heath Urban out in these parts. So this chick is pretty much like a 10 in his city. Seriously though, how bad must it feel if you can't get any girls and you're watching this video? This fucking bum just continues to get women simply because of his tall stature and his I don't give a fuck attitude. He explains that he treats her with the utmost respect in class, something he claims flew right out the door back when he was living the streets of New York. When I got here, I was kind of nervous to like start fucking around with chicks because of my reputation and shit. And I met you and we connected and I'm just like, fuck it, I have to. And it's really good to to see this guy turn in around in pretty much every facet of his life even the way he's looked at women has absolutely changed honestly that was some of the most romantic shit i've ever heard in my whole life he was so close to saying bitches though <laughs> like start fucking around with 
checks because checks because my checks because my reputation and I love this guy, man. He tells it how it is. He ain't sugarcoating shit. Everyone around this guy just adores him and he's still doing his best to help these other recovering addicts. A new drug of choice is being an inspiration to other people. Getting text messages from people I don't even know telling me how I inspire them to get clean and stuff like that is a much better high than shooting dope ever was. And that was all fine and dandy. The sad thing though, is that at the end of the documentary, they explained that he relapsed and became homeless once again. No one's actually heard a peep from this guy since 2017. I've actually been on the search to try and find this man and possibly do an interview with him. So drop a like on this video if you wanna see that. But what'd you guys think about this video? A little part two to that original homeless bum video I made. I hope that you enjoyed that one. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, drop a big like and subscribe today to the boy. We're growing a family over here. I guess I'm just the big old daddy I got like 300,000 kids. But for real, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And subscribe today if you're not. And I appreciate it, man. Peace. Pray. Or Trey. True. Got a nigga feeling boss. Spit it through the wire, that's floss. Your dog costs. Gotta get it, it's critical. Fuck a critic approach. It's so analytical, sinning like fuck a cynic. My nigga, we heavy on the grind. Burdens like boulders and sitting so heavy on my mind.